Hello and good day. Welcome to another episode of We Attacking a Linux Server. Then, what to do next is we want to find another method for attacking the Linux Server. So, in this video, we are going to be attacking the VNC port. That's the graphical user interface of of the server. We can see that the server here is our is as an IP address of 192.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.
so now you can see i think this is used for brute forcing so that's why there's a brute force speed which is five so there's a must login for us brute force speed force then db or credential force then db skip existing on the password then we don't know the password so we leave it then the pass file that means our default default credential known password that people can use for their servers can use for password and stuff like that so we can also locate this in our user share these these are all direct direct directories direct directories which lead to our vnc password or txt but if you want to use another known known password like rocku.txt and so many other known password that you download from the internet you can just you can just type use you 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 use it on download then you put in the part at which the file is then you should be able to use the um um uh, word list instead of using this using the default word list but for here we are going to use the default word list so now are we going to use a proxy no i think proxy is used for life if you want to attack life uh, uh in real life so, so you don't want the other the um the owner of the servers or or um the same tools or stuff to detect that you are the one attacking the server so now our roast as ministers remote host remote host is the people is the server we are attacking which is um this this are which our uh, server so you set your remote host set a remote host to one the ip address ip address is what 192.26 i'm going to copy this i go to my other section then i paste it then set roast so now our roast is set out at 192.26 if i press show options again she will to bring out now you can see our roast that is our roast that's remote host now remote port is 5900 you know already that we're attacking port 5900 then stop on success for trade one then username we need the username in every you want to have a privilege a and a root privilege in um when in rdp in rdp if you want to attack her it's always administrator when linux is always root mostly always root so but if you want to attack user level you use you have to do an information guiding on that um company then you can have the manager name or stuff then you the manager name will be as the um a user and in password as normal password or you brute force your password so what we do next now is our username should be root because we want to have a root privilege so then set username set username username as root so now it's pressure options again then we should have it our username should be root so then user user password we don't really need required no we don't really need it then user file no then fabric cs as we have to print out for all attempts now what we do next we want to run our brute force now um you just click on run just type sorry you write run type run then run run it run okay our credential data will not be saved then what do you say here login successful password so it means our password the password of the of the server is password so it's a weak password so that's why it was able to find this so very fast so password then now uh, what we do next we have found the login which is password now we'll go to our remember back our remember back remember remember click on a uh, type if you um click remember a remote desktop client then you change to vnc you can see SSH, don't do just check it very well that you put in a vnc then you put the ip address again 192.168.1. i think is um 128.128 then then now it will ask us for password you know we already have the user has root then to ask our password then our password is password password then press ok now 
we are in boo we are in so um we have gotten the we have gotten into the graphical interface of the server you can see there are many things we can um um run you can run so many command like ls and so many things you can cd into home cd into home here let me expand it i think there's no space cd into home then you ls you can cd you can see many folders cd into msf admin which is a user ms admin is the user then you ls then you can see vulnerable and will carry it then if you come here, if you come to our server bar just to confirm that we are in, I'll press ls. You can see vulnerable and the clarity, which is um the in the meta table. So, so you are free to do anything here. You are free to do because you are a root already, so you have admin privilege. You can do anything you want to do on this server. Then we can shut it, we can restart, we can restart this. I can shut it down from the terminal, I can restart from here, I can go into the full down to so many things I want to do. So I want to press restart. If I press restart now, I think the server is off. Okay, wait. wait. Okay, I think this restart is for another thing else. Um let's try let me press restart again. It's not starting okay. Let me type restart from the terminal and then okay. Sorry, reboot reboot from the terminal. Yeah, if you're able to reboot, you can see here now the server um, is rebooting. So now you have an admin privilege over the server. So thank you very much. Now it has been disconnected because we rebooted. Thank you very much and use this for only educational purpose only i won't be responsible for any brute force attack you do on the server if the avians is opened i am not responsible for you performing a brute force attack on their server thank you very much and subscribe more to the really clarity